Hey everybody, Zach Primrose here from Primrose Productions Music. I have a really interesting video for you today. If you're a guitarist, then you probably at some point early on when you started playing guitar, went through a few different kinds of picks, and you finally found one that felt right to you, and you picked that, and you stuck with it. And this is what most of us do. We just play different thicknesses of picks, different sheens of picks, until we find one that just feels right in our hand, and that's what we stick with. But have you ever thought about how those different kinds of picks actually affect your sound? Not just your playing, how it feels in your hand, but the actual thickness and the material of the pick, how it affects your sound. So we did a little experiment, and that's what this is going to be about. Uh, I had my buddy Daniel Stevens here playing acoustic guitar, and we wanted to try a bunch of different kinds of picks. And so we're going to go through that. Uh, first of all, most of the picks we have are a matte finish, but we have two that are a little uh, more glossy. So that will affect the sound. And yeah, we have a ton of different thicknesses. So we have a 0.58 millimeter. We have a 0.71 millimeter. We have a 0.88 millimeter. We have a 0.96 millimeter. We have a 1.5 millimeter and a 2.0 millimeter. And we also have a glossy 2.0 millimeter. And the, uh, the 0.71 millimeter is also glossy. So all of these are going to change the sound uh, some just a little bit and some drastically and we're gonna go over that so first he's gonna just be finger picking just to give you a point of reference of what just the guitar with a normal player sounds and I also want to mention that he did his absolute best to play as consistently through all of these he wasn't picking harder or softer on any specific time through he was trying to get it as even as possible so we could really hear just what the picks are doing to the sound. So anyway, here's what just finger picking sounds like. All right, so basic guitar sound, you know, simple finger picking. Now we're gonna move on to the 0.58 millimeter pick and that's a matte finish on that pick. So again, your basic guitar picking sound, you know, really simple. Uh, but now we're going to move to the 0.71 millimeter, and I want you to listen closely to how the sound changes. No, I was surprised, dude. When right. I just switched from that pick to that one, yeah. I was like, holy totally damn. <laughs> so as you can see, going between the 0.58 millimeter and the 0.71 millimeter, there was a very drastic change in the sound. Uh, if you're just listening on uh, earbuds or on your computer speaker, you might not hear this. So I would recommend listening on actual studio monitors or at least some good studio headphones so you can really hear the differences. Uh, you might still be able to hear it on your computer speaker. I'm not entirely sure. I, I, I do everything on monitors. So, uh, but yeah, like there was very clearly a drastic difference between the 0.58 and the 0.71. Now it also stands to mention that the 0.71 is a glossy and the 0.58 is a matte finish. So that's also affecting the sound more. So now we're going to go from the 0.71 to the 0.88 and the 0.88 is now a matte finish again. So 
So in that jump, there was a little bit less difference going from the 0.71 to the 0.88 than there was when we went from the 0.58 to the 0.71. And, but you'll still notice that the tone got warmer even though it wasn't as drastic a difference, it still added just a little bit of warmth as we got a little more meat on that pick. Uh, all right, so now we're going to go from the 0.88 millimeter to the 0.96 millimeter, and again, this is a matte finish. So there wasn't that much difference between those two, but keep in mind that going from 0.88 to 0.96, that's only a 0.08 millimeter difference, whereas the first jump was a 0.13 millimeter difference and the second was a 0.17 millimeter difference. So again, there's slightly difference between the 0.88 and the 0.96 millimeter picks, but not as much as some of the others. But now we're gonna jump up to 1.5 millimeters and see how that sounds. Again, it's a matte finish on the 1.5 millimeter pick. So as you can see, as we're getting thicker in pick, we're just getting an overall warmer sound from the guitar. And already I'm like really intrigued. I was intrigued after the first pick change, but I just, I think it's really interesting how much the pick is changing. Now let's go from a 1.5 millimeter to a 2.0 millimeter and see how that sounds. So with the 2.0 millimeter, this is the pick thickness that I usually use. And what I found interesting here was, it might just be me, but it sounded to me like the 2.0 millimeter was a much fuller sound overall. I feel like it filled the whole frequency spectrum of the guitar, whereas some of the other ones were a little warmer, a little brighter, but the 2.0 I felt like gave us a really good overall sound. Now, that 2.0 pick was a matte finish. So now we're just gonna, for another reference, like a straight size reference from matte to glossy, we're gonna do a glossy 2.0 millimeter pick. So that one, again, I think it had a pretty full tone, but I thought it was a little springier, and I think that that is just going to be from how you're going to, how the pick's going to react on the string when you're playing, because obviously a matte finish is a little going to have a little more friction, so you're going to come off the string slower, but the glossy finish is just going to kind of slide right off the string, so I think that's why it's springier, but I still think that the fatter pick give a fuller tone overall. But anyway, that's our little experiment. Uh, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments if you want to tell me what you thought, which pick you liked the best, if you think it's worth it to try different picks out for different songs and things like that, and just what your overall opinion was of the whole experiment, because I was really surprised by it, Daniel was really surprised by it, neither of us really expected there to be that much difference in sound from different picks. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you could subscribe and hit that notification bell, I would really appreciate it. Uh, I'm just going to continue. Every week I put out a new video. Sometimes it's things like this. Sometimes it's gear reviews. Sometimes it's band interviews. And if you like the content, that's awesome. Just hit that like button. I'd really appreciate anything you can do. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.
Were you intentionally playing harder, or was that seriously just the pick? No, it's just the pick, dude. I am trying to play as, like, close to exactly the same technique as I can right now. This is crazy. But, dude, no, I, like, I've never thought about how much it actually affects the tone until I'm hearing the same thing oh, played the same way one after the other.